In this video, we're going to look at the graphical user interface of the JIX RDB debugger. The graphical user interface is basically organized like a web browser. So at the top left, you have a little toolbar. You have like a back button and a forward button to navigate. You have an address bar. Now, in, unlike for a web browser here, an address actually is a memory location in your virtual address space. So JAXRVM uses a 32-bit address space at the moment. And so you can put in any 32-bit address here. And then you type that in, let's say this one here. You basically navigate to the corresponding memory location. Underneath the address bar, you see where you usually would have a web page in a web browser, you see the data structure at the corresponding address. And the corresponding address, memory location at that address, is highlighted. So 32000000 is inside some object. It's actually some field inside some object. So let's go back to the previous address. On the left hand side, you have various tabs. For example, the history, which shows you what you looked at just before some information about different types in the virtual machine, the thread state when you're running virtual machine, and some other tabs here for breakpoints and bookmarks and such. And on the rightmost side here you have this vertical bar, mostly white at the moment, which shows you the entire 4 gigabyte address space. At the top you have address 0, at the bottom you have 4 gigabytes. The areas that are mapped into memory are colored. Uh, in this case we see light blue that comes from the boot image. So the boot image data part is the light blue range. The pink range is the code part of the boot image and the yellow range, very small, is the reference map part of the boot image. Right now we do not have a running JAX RVM process. So we really look at what's in the boot image on in the file, but nevertheless we know exactly where the boot image will be mapped once we have a running process. And so we're just showing the memory locations here like the boot image had already been mapped into virtual memory. At the top in the title bar of our window you see which virtual machine we're actually playing with. So this is the uh, dist base base mark suite x86 version and checks RVM that's the executable program that's actually going to be launched once we launch the virtual machine but right now you see here we're not actually running if you press on this button you're launching a checks RVM process and then more and more memory will be mapped here and you will see different shades of gray appearing that's your view of the graphical user interface of checks RDB